Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a flight from Houston to Costa Rica in the Zebo 737-900 this time, next plan 11. I promise I'll do a Microsoft flight soon, I just heard the A320s bugs and all that stuff. So yeah, that's why I haven't been really been doing it lately. Don't mind me taxing through the cones, I just don't, kind of don't think the cones are there for. Probably the taxi was closed. Big grand time. Um, yeah, so. Other than that, let's get ready for takeoff. We're about to run away, taxi lights are off, many lights go on. Come on, alright, stop. Then we switch to T A R A. We switch these, the tower. Oh, 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 we don't roll on us. Oops. The brakes there. Um, IH. We're gonna go to Unicom next, or T2.0. Uh, um, 952. So, let me put that in here. Um, I'm flying offline today, so I'm just putting in the frequencies to be realistic. That's all. Alright, so we are all ready for takeoff. <sighs> yep, we're ready for takeoff. Let's do this. Alright, bottle, 45%. Forty. Let that stabilize. And then end one. And here the thrust is about to be set. Ops are set. Airspeed's alive now. Cross check. Three, one, rotate, and off we go, in the air, gear up, the level, Four feet. Let's make our turn to the right hand, make the right hand turn to get on the course. Right thousand feet on the start tracking the flops. What does Not flops are attracted. Trying to follow the flight director here. Alright, let's go off take off checklist and go over first to off position, auto break break off. Switch these radio frequencies, all the inner settings. Keep following the flight directors. The reason I uh, started recording at like, takeoff because the um, the taxi was really long actually from gate E nine to my third to the right. I was really long. I'm trying my best to follow the flight directors. Once we get on course, I'm going to gauge autopilot. So far it's a pretty nice flight, pretty nice takeoff. So once we fly directly off we start turning.
if he wants us to hold the clock down or I probably know why. Yeah. And it wants us to hold up clock down. Traffic, traffic. Yep, traffic. Alright, autopilot engage. Yep, there is traffic right there. Alright, so uh, that was a good takeoff. Um, this is based off of a real flight. It's called South um, United. Um, to something, something. Let me check some brief. Lat two, four, eight, something like that. Uh, let me just walk through the flight plan real quick. So here's what it looks like. Hmm. It's kind of long. It's a three hour and 30 minute flight. It's a long flight from Houston to Costa Rica. Let's just see what the flight looks like. So yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go back off um, Let's move our range up to 40. Alright, so um, I guess we'll see you guys once we get to 37,000 feet. Alright, so we should push the altitude to 33,000 feet. See what time is off, or is it just 10 or something? I uh, said two passengers will level off, we level off. There's the cabin, it's kind of a newer cabin. It's not as detailed as the 800s and the 700s, where that's fine. Uh, they sit on the edge of their seats, they do, yeah. Uh, they definitely do. And they need to work on this door. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, um... It's about to get really bumpy because once you get over like South America, it, it just gets really bumpy. Is that hurricane? And I think Hurricane Laura is over there. Or I did that video. Alright, so um, we are 1,300, 1,130 nautical miles away from our top of descent. So I guess I'll see you guys at our top of descent. So we sort of just went from 33,000 feet. Uh, yeah, so we in the Costa Rica, it's getting nighttime, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the logo light on. Drive the car. Let's move this over here. This, the sky looks really pretty right now. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. There you go. And there's a lot of mountains around the tree that you didn't know, so it's kind of a challenging approach at the same time. With all the turbulence. Yeah. Uh, uh set checklist is complete. We are doing the ILS. For runway zero seven, that's the only approach that's allowed there. Runway zero seven, so yeah. I have the charts up here. Let's get it up. I said everything like the course and the radio frequency, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, so everything looks good for descent. Um, I guess I'll see you guys once we get. Oh, that just got really bright. So I'll see you guys once we get to our top of descent. All right, so we reached 10,000 feet. It is gonna get really dark. There's like basically no lights on the mountains. So it gets really dark and a little bit scary. Now that sunset looks beautiful. Let me take a screenshot. Oh, that sunset looks beautiful. All right, so yeah, so it gets really dark. Okay. Actually, we we're really close to landing, actually. About 15 minutes, maybe 10, right? 5 minutes, 10. Yeah, it's kind of a challenging approach. As you can see, I'm going to turn on the uh, WX radar for this 
post officer, I'm turning on the terrain radar for me. Okay. As you can see, there's a, a little bit of turbulence, it's a little shaky because of the, like the, the mountains, yeah, the mountains. Okay, on 9.0, 9.0. Let's get our radio frequencies, uh, ground 12190. You should be picking up the ILS soon, I believe, at like 6,000 feet, or it's like car we pick up the ILS or something. All right, so everything's looking good. I want my train radar. I haven't run into a mountain yet. So um, this runway at Costa Rica is kind of short, San Jose, Costa Rica. I put the auto brake to three. We're going to be landing at flaps 30 today. So put flaps one down. And then so you got to make a little bit of a hard landing just to get on point because the runway is a little bit shorter than usual. Slow down. Slow down, buddy. Come on, buddy. Slow down. Here, I'm going to... Buddy, slow down, okay? Yeah, this plane is a little bit of a beast sometimes. It climbs really fast. It descends really fast. It's, it's almost scary. As Pops 10. Whoa, hold on, what was that one? Okay. What the heck? Whoa, okay, um. I don't know what the heck that was. I think we may have a major issue here. Emergency, maybe? Let's put the gear down. Whoa, what the heck was that? Okay, I see the runway. Okay, I don't know what that was. I think we may have extended the flaps too much. Then it may have like got mad and trying to kill us now. I think we may have a flap over speed or something. I don't know. Anyway, I see the runway. And we like to be making a mayday call right now. I don't know what happened. Gears down, three green, flaps 20, okay, flaps 25 degrees. We're not gonna be able to watch like the replays and all that stuff. Okay, so I got my, if I let go, the yoke is gonna turn to the left. I have my rudder, my right rudder like, like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm using my right rudder to, to stay like in place. I'm gonna go auto rig max instead. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get to the runway already. This is really scary. Approaching Continue. Minimums. Turn off water bottle. We have the runway in sight. We would be making mayday calls, calling like the company, lots of stuff. 
don't know what happened, honestly. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Right, 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 right. Come on. The passengers are probably like, what the heck is happening up there? Doesn't really have to be a smooth landing. Any landing you can walk away from. Guess we gotta make this one piece. Uh oh. We just gotta get this down in one piece. Okay, I'll brace for the fact, I guess. Okay, there we go, we're down. Reverses are out. Whew, we're down. That is one heck of an approach. Ooh. All right, we're down. Typically, when you go in, like when you're, I've been on a lot of flights to Costa Rica, like in real life. The landing does have to be hard, though. But we are down. Ooh, that was a one challenging approach. Okay, it's not really that hard. I think I know what happened. Um, I think we had a flap over speed. I was too fast and I actually extended the flaps too much. Yeah, so basically it's my fault, but we are alive. We're in one piece. That was crazy. That was crazy. At least we're alive. That's all that matters. Beautiful mountains, huh? Let's go to the gates. Landings are really never smooth here. We stopped really quickly because I had the auto brake set. We, we stopped really quickly that I was like, did we like lose a gear or something? Got a little bit of brake for a little bit fast. All right, let's stop right here and do taxi to gate checklists. All right, uh, tax expense of PMW, that's where you are off, and then you like to come off. Uh, strobe, steady transporter, off and off. Tax importance of flaps up, auto brake off. Flight director, so off. Start switches off, for piece goes off, APU start, one, two, three, four, and five. APU bleed goes on, that's the caution of the night. All right, we're already the taxi to our gates. Hold on, guys. Alright, this plane's not going. I guess we have to end the video here. Um, if you enjoyed us, click the like button.
Whoa, that's loud. Oh, that's a reverse hero. That's dumb. Hold on, I, just, I think it's because they're reversing the route. I guess not. But if you enjoyed, uh, you can always press that like bucket button. Why did that reversers out? Jeez. Uh, yeah, so there's a like button. Subscribe, I guess, uh, if you want to. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Wait, let's look at that replay. I want to see how bad that one was. Jeez. That was a horrible ending. Yeah, so you like banged for some reason? A little bit too fast there. That's a typical landing. Oh, Alright, yeah. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.